As you know that in Intune that we can manage both corporate device and personal device. But overall, overall impact of controlling the corporate device and personal device has a different aspect. In terms of when I talk about personal device, it is more meant for the bring, bring your own device where we can provide enough access so that the users can access the company resources with their uh, personal device. But here I'm just going to cover another aspect also, the personal devices which are actually meant for the corporate device. But before the enrollment status, it is called like a personal device. So if it is not making any sense, just watch this video because I'm going to cover this video in a multiple uh, chunks where I'm going to discuss about what exactly is a corporate device and a personal device, the components involved in the enrolling the corporate device and personal device means we can enroll both kinds of devices. The components involved in enrolling the corporate and personal device and the big question, can we enroll personal device? And if we can enroll that, what kind of parameters are there and how we can control and then how device is identified or treated as a personal and corporate device and finally the enrollment status of the various personal device or corporate device that how it looks like before enrolling the device and how it looks like after enrolling the device so we need to understand that thing so let's continue what is a corporate device corporate device as the name implies it's a device where you have a full control on that device as it belongs to the corporate you can have the full control of getting the inventory whether what kind of hardware and software is installed on that device you can simply remove all the data including the personal data so corporate devices are meant to be joining to the microsoft entra so join word is important so these devices are microsoft entra join device or if it is hybrid i can say microsoft entra hybrid join so the join word is important second type of uh, category is personal device personal device here i mean to say about the bring your own device so here just think about a scenario where a uni student, a college student is getting access for, from the uh, from the college about the email ID and other thing or maybe a contractor. A company has provided the email address so that that thing can be configured on the system. So there the organization will not like to have a full control on the device. So what kind of control will be there? What could be the things? Let's understand. So for the personal device, the user can access the company resource such as Microsoft 365 apps like of that Word, Excel, Teams like this. The company organization will be having a limited inventory to the device. So when I say limited inventory means that they won't be able to see the applications which are installed by you on that device. If that personal device is enrolled, that is a different scenario because the application targeted via into they will be only able to see those applications but their personal devices uh, personal uh, inventory they won't be able to see they can only remove the organization data and apps personal data will be intact because it's a it's not a corporate device so it makes sense that they should not be able to have a complete control on your device and these devices this is the important thing that these devices are microsoft entra registered device it's not the microsoft entra join even though we can make those devices Microsoft intra join and the complete control via the Intune, but that's not the organization should be doing it because these devices are BYOD devices. You should not be managing the full control of the device. Okay, so now the important aspect is for enrolling the device, whether it's corporate or personal device, what what exactly it's uh, what exactly is required? Number one thing is the Intune license. You need to have an appropriate Intune license for the user so that they can enroll the device. Second is the ability to join the Microsoft Entra ID. Then the third setting is ability to enroll the device. Let's see that where exactly these settings are there. You can see on the screenshot. So for any user, if you go to the license, you will be able to see the list of license. So here you can verify if the appropriate Intune license is assigned or not. Now let's come to the second thing where I was talking about the Microsoft Entra join. So users may join device to Microsoft Entra. So it should be selected to all for all the users or you can select the, you can click on selected by selecting a specific group. If user is part of that group, it means they are able to do the Microsoft Entra join. But that's not the only requirement. There is a third requirement that they should be able to enroll into the Intune automatic. So that comes with the setting MDM user scope. So if it's set to all or some by specifying a group, then it then also it is going to work. Okay, so 
now the component involved in this is another component which is involved for enrolling a device in internet portal if you go to the device enrollment device platform restriction this is a setting which shows us whether the enrollment is allowed or not so as you can see uh, on the screen that windows mdm the platform i have specified as allow so it means i am allowing the enrollment of windows devices at the same time all i am also allowing you allowing the enrollment of personal devices but but i would say that we should not be allowing the personal device we should be using the personal the corporate identifier so i'm just going to cover it in the next slide okay so based upon the previous screenshot the question is can we enroll personal device of course actually i have already given you the answer that yes we can enroll the personal devices and how we can enroll this setting also i covered that the windows mdm that platform is allowed and i have also allowed the person own by clicking on the allow but that's not the recommended setting because i don't want the personal devices to be enrolled we should block the personal own devices but if i block the personal own devices the problem is i'm going to also block the autopilot device preparation i mean to say autopilot v2 that will also be blocked because autopilot v2 is targeted on this user and if device preparation profile is targeted on a user they will be able to run on any device so it's not a good thing right but overall we also need to block the personally owned device because we don't want that any user can enroll the device on their personal device if any device which has been given which their personal device they have a device they wanted to access their company resources but at the at the same time if all the permissions are there they will be able to enroll also and the company will be organization will be having con the complete control and that's wrong thing right and also the user will be having more control to the infrastructure it's not good to control this thing we should be going with blocking the personally owned devices but i told you if we block the personal owned devices autopilot v2 will be also blocked for that we are going to use the windows corporate identifier which is a new feature i created the video on this you can find the link on the video you can click and find more information upon the windows corporate identifier just in a layman language if i have to say it consists of a csv file which consists of manufacturer model and serial number and if you upload it to the internet portal it becomes like a corporate device so we are getting rid of the problem where, where we wanted to block the personally owned device but just wanted to keep a few devices to be treated like a corporate device we are going to cover more on this thing how the device is treated or identified as a corporate or personal device see we know that this we we can think about it that organization is providing a device to the user it's a corporate device they purchase the device or user has purchased a device how intune is able to understand whether it's a corporate device or personal device let's understand that there are few enrollment types for the corporate device or personal device where it automatically treated as a corporate or personal so let's first look into the corporate device so autopilot v1 i mean to say autopilot deployment profile if you are using the autopilot deployment profile the device is treated like a corporate device why because the hardware hash of the device is already uploaded to the intune portal and if it is if it is already uploaded it means you have made the device has already been be, the device has already been aware of it is a corporate device second is the device second is the device enrolled via group policy the moment term comes group policy so it means that the device is already joined to the domain so if it is already joined to the domain it means obviously it is a corporate device and the third is device enrolling via ssm i mean to say configuration manager using the ssm co management feature so if we are using this technique it means again the device is domain joined and of course again it makes sense that it is a corporate device now let's come to the personal devices which kind of devices are treated like a personal device for the enrollment if we are using the autopilot v2 means autopilot device preparation before the moment the the, the device is sitting at the out of box experience or i would say windows setup at that moment the device is treated like a personal device similarly if autopilot v2 or v1 means hardware hash is not uploaded or there is no uh, autopilot v2 uh, 
profile targeted that device will will be going through the microsoft enter join page means you have to enter the user credentials in out of box experience that is also a personal device will be treated like a personal device and if any your home pc if you go to the start settings work or school that device if it is a work group uh, device it will be treated like a personal device and if you go to the company portal and on work group device if you download the company portal and trying to enroll the device that will be also treated like a personal device here the important here the important aspect is these personal devices where where actually i told about the four options that the autopilot v2 uh, microsoft intra join access work or school account and company portal i am majorly concerned about the autopilot v2 these devices are specific devices which are actually meant for the corporate device but initially they are treated like a personal device so I, as i told you that how to resolve that issue It means just by using the windows corporate identifier you are identifying that device as a corporate device so that the enrollment or the complete autopilot v2 process can be completed just to summarize all the things the enrollment status if how the device before the enrollment will look like whether it's a corporate device or personal device and what will be the end statement means once the enrollment is completed how it will look like let's take the first example autopilot deployment profile means autopilot v1 so as the hardware ash has already been uploaded so before even starting the the autopilot provisioning device is treated like a corporate and once the enrollment and the complete autopilot process is completed the end state would be microsoft intra join and device will be in in uh, in tune enrolled it will be enrolled to the in tune it could be microsoft intra join or it could be microsoft intra hybrid join if we are using the hybrid environment let's come to the second topic device join to the domain means uh, gpo we are using a gpo again the status will remain the same as it's a as we are using the group policy for domain join it is a corporate device and after the enrollment again it's a corporate device so again same thing it's a microsoft intra join or hybrid join it, actually it is a microsoft intra hybrid join with into enroll third let's come to the third one the device join to the domain and we are enrolling via the ssm obviously again it's a corporate device because domain join and ssm is there and after enrollment it is again the corporate device microsoft intra hybrid join and into enrollment will be the end statement now let's come to autopilot device preparation a new feature autopilot v2 so this device is a personal device if windows corporate identifier is not there for that device if windows corporate identifier csv file has been uploaded that device will become corporate device so they will be able to run the autopilot v2 process if personally owned device even if the personally owned device is blocked they will still be able to run it why because it is a corporate device because of windows corporate identifier the end statement would be microsoft intra join and device will be in tune enrolled now out of box experience phase for micro microsoft intra join means a device where there is no autopilot v1 no autopilot v2 that device will be treated like a personal device again the scenario will remain same means if windows corporate identifier of the device the csv file has been uploaded user will be able to enroll the device and my it will be they will be able to perform microsoft intra join and device will be in tune enroll it will be a corporate device now let's come to the access work or school with email address when you go to start settings access work or school the first setting is the first option available is the email address so if you provide the email address so initial state would be it will be a personal device you will only be able to enroll if the windows corporate identifier has been uploaded but as you are using the email address the end statement will be the personal device as you use the, the email address it is a microsoft intra registered device and it will be still be in tune enrolled if the appropriate permissions are provided and finally access work or school account with join to enter id if you are clicking on the join to enter id i'm always saying you that the moment we join it to enter id obviously that device automatically becomes the corporate device so you are starting with the as a personal device but the end statement will be the corporate device again the same formula is going to apply that as it is a personal device windows corporate identifier would be required 
the CSV file needs to be uploaded making it to make it a, as a corporate device. I hope that video was quite informative. Thank you so much. Bye.